The intensity of electromagnetic radiation was defined by using a concept known as the pointing vector. The pointing vector is simply the power output of an electromagnetic wave per unit area. It tells us the rate of change of energy per unit area of any electromagnetic wave. Now, one very important section of the electromagnetic spectrum is the visible light spectrum, and that's because visible light is the only form of electromagnetic radiation that is perceived by the human eye. Now, whenever we're dealing with light that encompasses the visible spectrum, it is useful to discuss the brightness of that light. Now, the human eye is most sensitive to light with a wavelength of 550 nanometers, which corresponds to the color green. And this fact will become important in just a moment when we define something known as the luminous flux. So, three important quantities exist that help us describe the brightness of light. So, we have luminous flux, we have luminous intensity, and illuminance. So, let's begin with luminous flux. So, luminous flux is essentially a quantity that tells us how much power a certain wave carries, a certain light wave carries. So, it's a measure of the perceived power of visible light. Now, the units of luminous flux are known as lumens or simply Lm. And we define 683 lumens equaling to 1 watt of power that is carried by a light with a wavelength of 555 nanometers. So, we choose this wavelength because the human eye is most sensitive to this type of light. Now, let's move on to the second type of quantity that helps us describe the brightness of light, and this is known as the luminous intensity. Now, the luminous intensity has units known as candela, and this is simply the luminous flux per solid angle, and it expresses the directionality of the energy that is radiated by the light wave. Now, what exactly is a solid angle? A solid angle is a two-dimensional angle that is defined using units known as steradians. Now, you can think of the solid angle as beginning at a certain point source and encompassing an area A on a sphere with a radius R as described in the following diagram. So, let's suppose this is our radius and this is our sphere that we did not draw. Now, this is our section of area on which our light actually shines. And we define the magnitude of the solid angle as the area, this surface area that the light falls on divided by the radius squared, where this radius is simply this length here. So basically, the luminous intensity is the luminous flux divided by this quantity area divided by radius squared. Now, finally, we define the third and final uh, quantity that describes the brightness of light, and this is known as the illuminance of light. It's defined as the luminous flux per unit area on which the light falls on. The units are lumens divided by meters squared. So, this tells us the radiation power of light that falls onto a surface area, and it's given by the following equation. So, this symbol is simply the luminance of our light, and this is equal to the luminous flux 
F subscript L divided by the area. So notice the luminance is not exactly the same thing as the luminous intensity. This tells us the directionality of the energy radiated by the light, while this tells us the quantity of radiation power that falls onto a certain surface area. The formula for luminous intensity is the luminous flux divided by the area per radius squared, while our luminance is the luminous flux divided by the area on which the light falls on.